Well, hello, 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 everyone out there in Terrorland. This is your girl Zengaya, the Zen Libran, and welcome, welcome, welcome to my channel, Narcissistic Abuse Tarot. Peace, peace, peace to everyone out there. I hope everyone is doing well. I hope you guys are in a good vibration, and I just hope you're peaceful and just joyful and just serene. You know, I wish that for everybody. I want to thank you for joining me and welcome you guys to Medusa's message. Yes, Medusa's message. Um, this is the first one that I got in like a week uh, or two. I don't know, has it been a week? Um, because I got a few of them last week and I put them out, you know. Um, Medusa is and was an oracle. She is the original nun that sat inside of the temple and got the downloads that got messages from the divine on how creation was supposed to run. Okay. Medusa gave the society everything from grooming to uh, the four seasons to the tides and the waves to making love. I mean, everything the divine gave Medusa a message about. Medusa gave it to the public, and that's how we were in the Golden Ages. This is when the woman ruled before the human, which is the he-man, because we're not human, ladies. We're goddesses, okay? Um, the man is the he-man, human, okay? Um, so that's how we were in our Golden Ages before the man took um, the throne, and I do mean took the throne, Okay. Um, the 18th dynasty on before, you know, after that, the man took, um, rulership and it's been a patriarchal society ever since then. No golden age, just a lot of death and a lot of destruction. Okay. So Medusa is not on the throne. So the matriarch is not in control anymore, but we're rising ladies. We're rising and we're going to take our throne back because what else but is ours. Okay. Um, I am a Medusa. I am from that bloodline. So I get messages and downloads from the divine. And I usually take these messages and I journal them. And um, for my own spiritual growth, my own spiritual journey. But the divine has asked me to release these messages. So I am. You know what I'm saying? Proudly. Um, I'm more than obedient. So I, release this, or release, I am releasing these messages to the public. And I hope that it gives some healing, guiding, counseling to anyone who needs it. I hope, it's, I hope it does just what the divine means for it to do. Okay. And I'm more than happy to share it with you. Okay. All right. Okay. So the message that I got from Medusa this time, and of course, you know, when I get seven messages, I put them all together and we do a Medusa mega message and we see what the gist of what Medusa is really, really talking about. OK, this is the first one of this particular batch. So we need to get six more guys and then we'll have a mega message and then we can see what's really going down, what Medusa is talking about. So the message that I got this time from Medusa is Aries, the sign Aries. Or it can be the god of war. His name was Ares. Okay. Or it can be the Ares, which is the mermaids. Okay. They existed as the Ari, the mermaids. Okay. Um, it can be all of those. Okay. But that's the message that I got, Ares. So I was like, okay, 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 Medusa. All right. Let's see what's going on. All right. Let's put some terror on it. And let's see what Medusa is speaking of talking about Aries. All right. And we know that Aries, um, the energy of Aries is a person that's all about themselves. Okay. Uh, they're into self-development. Um, they're innovators. They're movers and shakers. Okay. Um, also, the, the, the Aries, which were the Egyptians which were called the Airites, you know, before they started calling us Egyptians. They were the Aries. These are the people that, these are the mermaids, the, you know, that built the pyramids that was responsible for building the city of Egypt. Okay. And um, their philosophy, well, their beliefs was they was into self-preservation. They knew that whatever you wanted to accomplish, you had the power within you. So they um, 
focused on themselves, developing themselves and the power within. Um, they knew that uh, the power that they held within. And so they focused on developing themselves, that they were their own God. You know what I'm saying? And that they can do anything, you know, and that's what the mermaid's uh, philosophy was, you know. Um, and it's beautiful because it is self. You have to have a knowledge of self. Once you know thyself, everything falls into place. Everything falls into place. You know what I'm saying? You need to know your background, your ancestors, where you came from, what, 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 um, what, what, what is your generation? I mean, where do your generations come from? Where do they spawn from? You need to know that so you can know thyself and know where you came from and your people. You know what I'm saying? And so you can know what gifts you got, what talents you got, what kind of DNA you possess. You know, you need to get into yourself. Get into yourself. And that's what the Egyptians, which they call the Airites, which are the Aries, which is the Aries, that's what they focused on. Which is the zodiac sign, Aries, focuses on that too. They're all into self, okay? Which is nothing wrong with being into self, long as you don't have the ego to go with it. You know what I'm saying? I mean, knowing thyself is not harmful. You know what I'm saying? It's not harmful at all. You know what I'm saying? Actually, that's what you want to do. Know thyself, okay? All right, y'all. Let's get these cards out here and see what Medusa talking about as far as Aries, okay? Ooh. Hmm. What is Medusa talking about as far as Aries is concerned? Hmm, interesting. Well, somebody was doing candle magic. We have a mason, masons that were doing candle magic and it didn't work. And whomever they were doing candle magic on, um, this particular person is moving ahead in life. They're going to have a well-balanced, organized life. Uh, this particular person um, just was given this... Um, this particular person, which is you collective, just a lot of unnecessary drama, you know, but this is the end of this, you know what I'm saying? I mean, this was just uh, keeping you on your toes, a little healthy competition for you so you could know to be on your toes, you know what I'm saying? I mean, this is somebody, I want to say this was a sparring partner, okay? You know what I'm saying? This wasn't no, no real battle. This was somebody you sparred, sparred with, so it was good for this. You know what I'm saying? This was good to develop your skills because this person ain't about nothing. You know what I'm saying? This person or these people. You walked away from this particular person, and you independently went on by yourself, okay? You, you went on by yourself, and this person is uh, looking stupid, okay? So this mason tried to do candle magic on you because you decide not to be with this particular person and you decide to be single and be by yourself. <laughs> so he wanted to give you the smoke, but it's over. You know, going through this with this mason, this candle magic didn't work and you're moving forward in life. You know, you, you're going out, you're embarking on a new destiny. You're on a new path. You're on, I'm on a new level. You know what I'm saying? And you're doing it by yourself, baby. I know that's right. You know, and this person... This mason with his candle magic ass. You know what I'm saying? Hey, babe. It didn't work, bitch. You know what I'm saying? What else we got out here? Yeah, you're moving forward from this wicked ass family. This is a wicked ass family. A wicked ass group of people that was doing this to you. Okay? The candle magic didn't work, so you're moving forward <clears throat> and you're healing. You know, you could be taking herbs and you're healing yourself. You're practicing, you're focusing on your self-care. You know what I'm saying? You're taking care of yourself. you all into yourself. That's that Aries energy. You know what I'm saying? And this Mason is uh, reaping what he sowed. This Mason is reaping what he sowed. This bastard put a lot of time and energy into this candle magic. Okay, but it didn't work, you know. Um, and he's reaping what he sow. I mean, he's looking at the choices that he made and he's feeling stupid by trusting some people that he shouldn't have trusted. You know what I'm saying? But this is the end. This is over. This comp, these people trying to compete with you, warring with you. This is over. Trying to manipulate you. This is over. You know what I'm saying? You're not giving this person no energy and you moved on by yourself, single and mingling. You know what I'm saying? And you're focused on yourself 
nothing or nobody else. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you're moving forward in life and it's going on. Now, this is a person from your past that wants to reconnect with you. This is a person that you left in the past. You know, you've outgrown this person. You know what I'm saying? So you're leaving past anything that you've outgrown and you moved on to better, calmer waters. You know, and you're by yourself. You're not hooking up with this person. Okay? You are an Ariel. You are an Ariel. You come from the bloodline of the mermaids. The first to walk of the mers. The first to walk up on land. This is you. This is the bloodline. This is the royal bloodline that you come from. This is the royal bloodline of King Tut. And you come from that. Okay? You come from that. That's why this Mason was doing candle magic on you. That's why this Mason was trying to get with you. Because of you are from a royal bloodline. And him hooking with you, hooking up with you, um, that would have bumped up his status. And let alone cleaned up his raggedy ass, uh, um, infected ass, uh, uh, tainted ass, cursed ass bloodline. Okay. <laughs> let alone that. You know, let's get some more energy out here. So you are doing it by yourself. You're going off by yourself. This is the Aries energy. And this person is reaping what he sold for doing this candle magic on you. Because no matter what he did, you was not being with him and you being by yourself. <laughs> he don't want you to be by yourself. He don't want you to be single. He wants you to be with him. But so damn what? And this is a Mason that's doing this. These Masons be doing um, spell work, y'all. These ain't no good people for the community. These are people that do spell work, that affect people's lives against their will. You know what I'm saying? With their nice linings and shoes shine up, then they go and they worship Satan and do spell work. Because this type of spell work is, is of the dark side. You know what I'm saying? And these are the people that be running these churches, these masons. But they teach you one thing, but then they go into spirituality, but they work on spirituality on the dark side. Okay, they know spirituality is the truth and religion is not. But they teach you the religion, which is that artificial intelligence. You know what I'm saying? They, they teach you that bull while they practice in spirituality, but in the dark side. Okay. Yeah, you didn't get this person none of your energy and you went on by yourself and he don't like that, honey. But who cares? You know what I'm saying? Spirit told you to go, honey. Spirit told you to go. and You've been initiated. You know what I'm saying? I mean, this was a test to see if you would uh, keep going through the same toxic pattern with this person. And you broke this pat this pattern and uh, you, you're not bound. You know what I'm saying? So you've been initiated, honey. I love this. I love this. OK, things is going to balance out for you in your life. Trust and believe, you know. Good battle, honey. Good battle. You know, but it's over now. All this manipulation, all this unnecessary drama is over. It's over. Mm hmm. And, you you know, the divine finna give you some gifts, honey, that's just going to warm your heart. You know what I'm saying? Come on home and rest, baby, after the, uh, off the battlefield. You know, it's the end. It's time for you to rest, you know, and just feel good again. You know what I'm saying? Feel warm and welcome again. You know what I'm saying? Um, this uh, this masculine right here, boy, he want to come home, baby. He want to come home. He looks at you as home. He considers you home. And he wants to come your way. Mm-hmm. He wants to come your way. But he's very controlling. He thinks he's God in your life. He thinks he's Lord over you. No, you're not, honey. That's why she don't want to be with your ass. This person is a narcissist, okay? This is a mason that's reaping what he sold right now. They put a lot of time and energy into doing this candle magic, this spell work on you so you could be with him. This is crazy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He won't, he did all this because he want to be with the lady goddess. He want to be with the divine feminine. What happened to your rap, dog? You can't rap. You ain't got no game. You got to go do spell work, dog. You's a weak ass punk. You know what I'm saying? But this person is somebody in their shadow side, so they do that. You know what I'm saying? They do, they do that. <clears throat> this Mason is in the South Node. And, you know, it's a click of them, y'all. It's a click. Like minds, okay? Like minds. Yeah, you're healing and everything, uh, focusing on self-care. I mean, you're doing great, and the candle magic didn't work. Your candle magic didn't work, sweetheart. You wasted your time, you know, and um, 
Then magic gotta go somewhere. Where y'all think it's going? Back to your ass. You know what I'm saying? Back to your ass because this feminine is getting prosperity. So whatever you tried to do, it did not work, honey. So if she's getting prosperity, what you think you getting? <laughs> whatever you sent out there for her, you know what I'm saying? I mean, uh, is coming back to you. This feminine is a watcher. Yeah, she's a watcher. She's she's an airy. You know what I'm saying? She's a watcher. Uh, she's a healer also. You know what I'm saying? And the watchers and witches are healers. You know what I'm saying? We were the ones that ran civilization. Okay? Yeah. She's moving forward from these wicked people, this wicked group of people, these wicked group of masons and eastern stars that was coming up against her. You're moving forward. You know, I guess they tried to steal your destiny. They didn't want you to have this prosperity, but you're moving forward. A well-organized life. You could have a great partner that is into reciprocity. You guys share things. I mean, uh, it's love, it's balance, you know what I'm saying? And y'all gonna have a great, 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 great life. Great destiny, and you starting a new partnership. I love this, and you getting away from these wicked ass people. You going out here, you single and mingling. You're not married, you single and mingling. You know what I'm saying? With your mermaid self, you know what I'm saying? And you just need to keep your boundaries from these people, from these wicked ass people. Keep your boundaries, okay? And you doing it too, you know what I'm saying? I mean, you doing it, you know. So this, this is Aries energy. This feminine is uh, by herself, she wants to be by herself. Uh, she's making moves out here. She's moving and shaking. This is the Aries energy. This is the Queen of Wands energy. And she done got her up on some prosperity, honey. She done been initiated because she was out here cold kicking ass. You hear what I'm saying? She cold kicked this ass of these Masons, these Masons and these Eastern stars by herself. By herself. Do you hear what I'm saying? By herself. That's just Aries energy. All about self. You know what I'm saying? And, hey, man, she did the damn thing. She did the damn thing. So you deserve this prosperity. You deserve to be initiated. Spirit is proud of you, and I'm proud of you, honey. And then Masons could go kiss ass and go... Uh, Go do a spell on these nuts. That's what they need to do with they wicked ass. Okay? All right, y'all. Well, this is what I have. Medusa's message is about Aries. She's by herself, y'all. You know what I'm saying? She doing her thing. You know what I'm saying? And I'm proud of her with her mermaid self. All right? All right, y'all. I'll see y'all on the next Medusa's message. Y'all be good out there, okay? Bye-bye.